Well hello and welcome to DJ Fossil. So just a quick intro. Today we're doing Saltwick Bay and we are here at parked up at Whitby Holiday Park. Now as you can see that's the entrance to the park off the main road. I'll put the postcode in the description as usual. So you come down this track here and there's some parking here. So you need to park in this area and then you walk off down that way and I'll show you where you're heading in a second. So we're down in Yorkshire for a whole week of fossil hunting. Um, unfortunately we booked it several months back and would luck would have it or bad luck would have it that all the tides are early morning and late and uh, like early evening. So it's dark early mornings and it's dark early evening. So a few of the ones at the end of the week are going to be a bit lighter. Um, so, but we're going to be doing quite a few of the night fossil hunts. So we'll do morning and evening ones quite regularly. So we'll try and cover quite a few locations and multiple times at the same locations to see if we can find lots of different things. So you head down this pathway. You can see the see there. You need to be heading round that corner over to about that direction there. There's some a little wash point. You go past the wash point and turn to your right and back on yourself down the path to the beach. It's quite easy to get to. So yeah, you come down that path here, along here, and then down this path here. And it's quite an easy path, but there's a lot of steps. It's quite fairly high up and can be slippery, so just be careful. So this is Saltwick Bay, lovely little bay. Um, cup, you can get find stuff along there. We did last time, and the best place we had was just around this corner here. It was really good. But there you go. Look at all that mud. It's going to be extremely slippery. Um, so I'm going to be putting the camera away and concentrate on getting down. It is a zigzag path, as you can see. It goes down some steps over there, which are quite steep as well. Uh, so we'll see you in a short while and hopefully we'll find some nice things to show you. So Jackie's just spotted this one, a uh, little, little tiny, tiny little boulder there. But if we have a look there, we can see a little keel sticking out the side. So there's a nice one in there. Um, I'm a bit hesitant to crack this one open as it's got not a lot of it showing. So what I might do is keep this one and prep it later I don't want to damage it that's the one thing I don't want to do but it's only a little one but first Yorkshire find of the week and that was to Jackie so well done right so Jackie wants me to give it a little tap so we can have a look and see if we can see any of it so I'm gonna have a go and see if we can get it to tease open or not Depends if it wants to go or not. It's giving it a few gentle taps all the way around to see if I can get a crack, and it's not cracking, so I don't want to damage the, damage it. This is only a bit showing, so yeah, this is not going to come out. It might, might be quite pyrite so we'll leave this one and prep it. Yeah, so it's not going to crack, not even okay. with a, quite a few hits. Claude and right, so I've just. Jackie's just found this one, it looks very promising. It's got quite a nice bulge and a bit of a keelish line. It's not actually a keel, but it looks like it could have something in it. So we're gonna give this one the tap open and have a look. See. Oh, very metallic again. Uh, I've actually had stuff in ones like this though. Uh, on this time, there's a bit of fossil remains there. That's what that who those bits are, but there's nothing actually in it, unfortunately. Well, just uh, walking along the beach, saw this rock sat there, and I thought, oh, it just looks interesting. Turned it over, and there's a bivalve. Sorry, camera. Very pyrotized, sat in the middle there. <coughs> Yeah, it looks quite complete. I reckon that's going to pop out, so I'm going to have a little tap on that and see if I can get that one out. 
So we're just going to have a little tap, see if we can just pop this out without breaking it. Hopefully, yeah, I think this is just going to tap out very easily. There we go, that's part of it. Might give that rock a little hit as well in a minute. Ah, there we go. Not perfect, it's the tip's all broken. But it's not bad, you've got some nice lines. You can see some of the ridges and stuff. I've just had a bit of clean up, a bit of damage there, but we haven't got one of those, so that's one for our collection for now until we get a better one. Alright, so Jackie just found this one. Nice little bell and mite sat on there. And the rock itself looks very like it could have something in it, and there was a bit of something showing, a bit of, uh, around one of the edges, which I can't find now. Uh, it looked like a bit of keel, but a very tiny piece of keel. Uh, so but we thought, oh, we'll get this bellamite piece off and we might even keep that. And we will now because it's brought us some luck. As we lifted it off, we saw the underside, an imprint there. And as you can see, a lovely ammonite sat inside of there. That is gorgeous. We're not going to try and tap this one because it's so close to the edge. It just needs prepping off. And I've got a funny feeling there's going to be a second one up this end because of the shape of the rock. I'll be surprised if there isn't. So I'll be taking that one back as is to prep that one. So uh, nice find. Not quite sure what species this is. I'm not too au okay fait with the Yorkshire species, uh, uh, you know, as we're from down south. So I'm slowly learning. Uh, I've got some info and I'll check it out later on. So we finished over that side there for now. We have found a few little bits and we're heading over just to have a quick look along there the tide is still on its way out not much further though unfortunately today uh, that over there is called locally the sphinx uh, that's what someone told me about last time when the water goes down it does look like it's got the legs at the front as well it's pretty cool right so i'll just show you this so no one thinks i'm hitting rock there's a little slab of like the shaley stuff here and what brought my attention to it was this down here look the lovely pyrotized ammonite there but it's not complete but also there was one there as well and then just down here i saw the top of this and it is a bivalve pyro fully pyrotized bivalve and it's complete absolutely perfect there's no damage to it whatsoever so that is a beautiful little one for the collection so I'm gonna have a look through here and see if I can find any more bits in there right so we're gonna call it a day today um, we could stay longer but it's our first day here and we've got a bit of unpacking to do we need to go food shopping and stuff so we're gonna call it quits now uh, we found it those that another little couple of bits there not a lot um, but we're going to head back and okay, it's all the way up there so thanks for watching and um, I hope you enjoy it and keep watching for the rest of the Yorkshire videos coming up very soon